Hi and welcome to quickkt.com. In this tutorial video, we are going to learn about the introduction to deep learning and neural networks. So what is deep learning? Deep learning is a branch in artificial intelligence and machine learning. It's basically all about training the computer with lots and lots of data to make it do tasks that humans are capable of doing such as facial recognition, understanding the natural style of speaking or recognizing a bad handwriting. The basis for deep learning is neural networks also called as artificial neural networks so neural network is basically a mathematical model of a human brain okay so this mathematical model does not completely represent the human brain. It just mimics the way human brain works in solving some of the real world problems like recognizing a familiar face or understanding the handwritten digits. So before learning the neural networks we shall quickly learn the structure and functionality of real neural networks which is nothing but neurons or nerve cells an average human brain consists of over 100 billion neurons which are connected together in a highly complex manner there are over trillions of interconnections between them so this is a simplified structure of a neuron okay let me explain the functionality of the neuron in three simple steps the dendrites receives inputs from various sources. These various sources can be the skin or your eyes or muscles or other neurons. Okay. The cell body sums up all these signals okay and if the total signal exceeds a certain threshold value it triggers the signal through the axon this is called axon through the axon to synaptic terminals the axons can be of any length it can be short or it can be long it can even extend from your brain to the tip of your toe okay the synaptic terminals passes on these signals to other muscles or neurons via something called as synapses. What's a synapses? Synapses is a point of contact between two neurons. The exchange of electrical or chemical signals happen between two neurons in this region. This region is called a synap synapses. The signals near synapses are either excitatory, which means they can add to or amplify the strength of overall signals or they can be inhibitory 
which means they can subtract from or decrease the overall strength of the signal so this is a simple artificial neuron model this is called as McClock Pitts model this is considered as one of the first neuron models okay let me explain the functionality how it works the neuron in this case is this blue circle it's just a summation function it basically sums up all the input signals respected by their uh, multiplied by their respective weights okay these are the inputs x1 x2 x3 xn these are the inputs and these are the weights inputs and weights this is called as bias this term okay so the output vk from neuron is given by or, or from the summation function is given by vk equal to x0 w0 plus x1 w1 plus x2 w2 so on plus xn wn which can also be written as summation function j equal to 0 to n xj wj so this output vk is then passed to threshold function which then decides the final output yk so the threshold function how it works is the threshold function vk is given by so it has it, it has a certain value called as threshold value okay if input vk is greater than or equal to threshold value then output yk will be equal to 1 else the output will be equal to 0 so let me just draw the graph between input and output vk is our input yk is our output let's consider the threshold value to be equal to 0 the input can range from minus infinity to plus infinity okay when the input vk is negative the output yk will be 0 when it is positive the output will be 1 So the McClock Pitts model belongs to a class of models, belongs to a class of neurons which are called as binary threshold neurons. There are various other types of neurons like linear neurons, sigmoid neurons and many such neurons which we shall discuss in the later section so a neural network is basically just a bunch of neurons like this connected in a rather complicated way to achieve simple tasks which only humans are capable of doing okay so here in is here is an example of a three layer neural network the input layer is usually not considered for counting the total number of layers it's because the input layer is having only the inputs 
okay these are not neurons they are just inputs there can be more than one hidden layer in a neural network in this case there are two hidden layers hidden layer 1 hidden layer 2 and there is one output layer So this is a neural network. So this could be the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.